Hi, Vienna users. In today's session, we are going to cover how to create the tenant into the Vienna Advantage software. To generate the tenant, we need to log in into the system client, and using that system client, we will be able to create the nature tenant setup. So, the first step is to log in with the system client, search for the initial tenant setup process run the initial team and set a process, input the necessary information, save the credentials of the newly generated client and later on by using the admin role, we would be able to make the further activities into the newly created client. So let's move on and we'll see how we can generate a new team into the VNI advantage. Right. Here is my screen. You need to enter your super user credentials here. Log in into the software by clicking on login. And you would be able to see in the screen that there is an initial tenant setup, or you can search the initial tenant setup from the search utility. So here is the initial tenant setup. So as I have mentioned, that the desired or the required details needs to be entered here. Let's suppose I am creating an organization called Corporation. So ABC, ABC headquarters, client is ABC admin, ABC user. So these are going to be later on the users within the system and also the roles within the system. Now this ABC corporation belongs to which particular country. So I'm selecting here as United States entered my region as New York, city name as New York and region as NY. Now apart from that there are certain optional checkbox. So here there are two important checkbox that you need not to you know, uncheck. While rest if you want to check then these becomes the counting dimensions into the VN advantage software. If you don't want to check on these now, later on we can you know update this using the counting schema method. Now, once entered everything here at this moment of time, you just need to say done. And as a result of this, at the background, what the system will do, system will generate the new tenant, one of the legal entity, accounting schema. But the accounting schema doesn't contain the details of the chart of account. Okay, Since there are certain default accounts to be entered, and these default accounts will not be available with the accounting schema because into the VNI advantage, while creating the initial tenant, the system is not asking for the chart of account files. So now you can see as a result of the initial tenant generation on the right side, you would be able to see all the details. If you want to save this, you would be able to save it as a notepad file. Later on, we can utilize this and in this notepad file, you would be able to see your team in detail, organization name, admin role, the admin user, and this becomes the user for us and the password. So what we will say, we'll copy this and thereafter, we'll move back to our software and we'll log, log it out. So once we log out, we'll say ABC, or we'll copy or paste ABC admin, ABC admin and we'll try to log in. We'll try to log in and the system will ask you to give some other name for the ABC admin. So I will give ABC admin at the rate one, ABC admin at the rate one, and now I will log in into the system. So as I mentioned that there are various components get generated at the background, so you would be able to see it is going to be the organization. So there is a legal entity that we gave as ABCHQ, it is coming here. Thereafter, you would be able to see the role is getting generated by the process. So the all the rules you would be able to see at this particular place, and along with that, there is a default business partner, there's uh, users get generated by the system as a result of this process. So in this way, we would be able to generate the 
new tenant. Always keep in mind you need not to you know open the window of tenant in a certain login tenant, and then after you will just click on new record and you will generate the tenant. Thanks a lot for this video. Bye bye.